Infinitives Unleashed. Mastering Passive Infinitives in English. Hello, English learners. Welcome to another exciting video on mastering the English language. Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of infinitives. More specifically, we're focusing on infinitives and passive voice. This may sound complicated, but don't worry, we will take it step by step and I promise, by the end of this video, you'll have a good handle on this concept. Before we jump into passive infinitives, let's quickly recap what an infinitive is. An infinitive is the base form of a verb, usually preceded by the word to. For example, in the sentence, I want to eat ice cream, to eat, is an infinitive. Now that we've refreshed our memories on infinitives, let's touch on passive voice. In passive sentences, the focus is on the action being done, not who's doing it. For instance, the cake was eaten by me, is in passive voice, as opposed to the active, I ate the cake. The cake, not the person, is the focus. Are you ready? Let's combine these concepts. Passive infinitives are formed with to be plus past participle of the verb. For example, the cake is expected to be eaten by me uses the passive infinitive to be eaten. Here, the focus is on the expectation for the cake rather than on me. To better understand, let's go through a few more examples. One, the book needs to be returned to the library. Passive infinitive, to be returned. Two, the project is scheduled to be completed by the end of this month. Passive infinitive, to be completed. Three, the door is supposed to be locked at night. Passive infinitive, to be locked. In each case, the focus is on what is happening to the subject, book, project, door, rather than who's doing the action. That's it for today. We've covered a lot, from recapping infinitives to exploring the passive voice, and finally, mastering the use of passive infinitives. Remember, the key is practice. Try using passive infinitives in your daily English usage, and soon they'll become second nature. Stay curious and keep learning. See you in our next video.